Hey, how are you? There is a lot of butterflies just flying around, so if you see one, that's, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Look, sorry, I'm getting distracted by the mounts of butterflies around me. I must be near a butterfly nest or something. Getting back to the video. There are three things that you must overcome that you will encounter at some point in your life. And the last one, the third one, it's the one that everyone ignores. So stick to the end. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. The first one is self-control is strength. The idea that calmness is mastery. You see, when I started thinking about this, there was an aim, a goal that I wanted to get to. And that is, I want to get to the point that my mood does not shift due to somebody else's actions. Don't allow others to control the direction of your life. This is what I mean by having a sense of self-control, you know, not being too emotional. That's not what I mean. What I mean is having a good control over your emotions. So that when someone does something, to deliberately try and shift your mood from a good positive mood to a negative mood or a negative reaction, that you will not allow your emotions to get the better of you, to overcome that intelligence of what you're capable of doing. I'm not telling you that you shouldn't be emotional. I'm telling you that there is a person you can be emotional to. And that is that one guy best friend. That guy, that best friend, you can absolutely 100% trust no matter what. A friendship for life. Granted though, that is hard to find nowadays. Having a sense of self-control is strength. The second one, and this is probably the most shitty one that I don't really wanna say, because it sounds so harsh, but it's unfortunately true. And that is money equals respect. I don't like saying this. I wish this wasn't true, but it is true to a degree. Obviously, everyone is different. People respect different things. People will all think differently. You know, family, maybe they don't, maybe your family doesn't care about the amount of money you make. So it, it, it does vary from person to person, but the majority will think of you differently depending on the amount of money that you make and the social status that you are right now. I don't want to say that money equals respect, but unfortunately it is true, despite the fact that maybe none of us want to admit this. For example, we're dating, right? Personality overlooks, 100%. 100% personality overlooks. However, that doesn't mean that looks do not play a part. Yes, the personality is what's important, but they probably won't even come up to and talk to you if you don't look good. And if they find out that your personality is shit afterwards, yeah, then they leave, but they originally will come up and speak to you depending on how you look. How you look is a bonus to the relationship, and no one wants to admit this, even though deep down we all know it's true. With one of my exes, I literally showed an old photo of compared to what I look to now. And granted, I used to look hella clapped. I took no, no care in my physical looks. I had a double chin, a mop for hair. It looked like my head was shaped like an alien. Like I took no pride in how I looked in any way whatsoever. And I look like shit. And I asked her, all right, this is me. If you saw me right now, would you still date me like this? And she was trying to be nice. She was like, yeah. And I was like, shut up. I know you wouldn't. And she admitted it. No, she wouldn't. Yes, personality is by far more important. The person that you're with, who they are and what they're like around you, that is what counts. But looks do play a part. And we don't want to admit this, but it's true. Same thing with money. Money does equal and command a certain amount of respect, despite the fact that none of us will want to admit this. Because a person who has made money is a person who has taken care of himself, who understands that he needs to make money, that he needs to learn how to make money so that he can have time and freedom with his other aspects of life so that the financial problems aren't a huge problem for him and he can focus on the other parts of life. I'm talking about the top 1% man. I'm talking about the rich of the rich, the guy who has done it all, who has made his wealth, has his own family, and has that time freedom, financial freedom, and location freedom. You need to learn how to make money. Look, most of my audience are quite young. They're around my age. You know, like, what is it? I think it's 13 to 18 is my audience, or 18 to 25, that's around my audience. You're young, 
you have a lot of time and you have a lot of information out there. I am being genuinely serious when I say that there is literally millions of books out there explaining the mindset behind making a business, the actual process of making a business and how to make a business successful. There are so, so many different business types out there that you can research into and find out which one you want to actually invest into. I did the same thing. I looked into dropshipping, into, what was it, copywriting, trading. I focused trading in the Forex market, in the futures market. I even tried indices. I have tried so, so many things and the one that I have come to love that I want to invest in is YouTube. You need to go out and just research a bunch. There are so, so many books out there. You've got Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You've got so many at the grasp of your fingertips. Literally at the grasp of your fingertips that you can go online right now and start searching up instead of going on TikTok or Instagram and scrolling. And the third one. In three generations, everybody you know will be dead. Now that's quite dark. And this, that's why a lot of people ignore this one, despite it being really important. And this, what I just said, includes for the people who look down upon you. In three generations time, the people who look down upon you, who did not believe in you, who didn't believe that you could take back control of your life, who didn't believe that you could actually turn things around for yourself, that you could do it, all the things that you set out and dreamed for that you want to achieve, they believe that you wouldn't be able to do it. In three generations time, they will no longer be here. For example, think about it. Think about a guy, right, that you bumped into on the train. You know, he goes off and he does it all. He did it. He didn't procrastinate and he went out to achieve every single goal he has. He did it. He's living that dream life and he grows old and he passed away. Three years later, how much do you care? That a stranger that you barely even know did it all pass away three years later how much do you still care the reason i say this is that when people belittle you when people look down upon you when people see that you did it in three generations time they aren't going to care so when you do go do everything that you were set out to do when you do aim to achieve every single goal that you have set for yourself when you do go out and to actually and you actually take action and start achieving and start making progress you need to do it for you. You need to do it for yourself. Not with the aim to please someone else that isn't going to care. You need to do it for you. For that future family that you want to have. You need to do it for yourself. Otherwise, eventually it won't mean anything. And you won't actually be happy with what you have achieved. Hopefully this video helped you out. Another one will pop up in the corner. And I would be really appreciative if you clicked on this one because this video could help you out like this video has. And if you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance that you will never ever find this channel again. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss.